Hello everybody, I'm Frangrams and welcome to my Pikmin 4 predictions video. Today, we are going to be discussing predictions for the upcoming Pikmin game in 2023. And by that I mean predictions. Not wishes, my hopes for this game. That's for a separate video. Because if it were up to me, I would love it if this game had a ton of new Pikmin types and a ton of new amazing enemies. But, we're being serious today and actually making predictions that I would not be afraid to bet my money on. So let's get started. In order to get these predictions started, we do need to take a look back at the Nintendo Direct where Pikmin 4 was announced. Shigeru Miyamoto took his special and sweet time announcing this game to the world. And for a good reason. This game has been in development for years, I could only assume, because Pikmin 3, not Pikmin 3 Deluxe, Pikmin 3 for the Wii U came out in July of 2013. So, if you're counting when Pikmin 4 releases, that's exactly a decade between the two releases. A decade's gap. So while it is unfortunate that it took a decade to get a new Pikmin game, it is still good news to know that Nintendo has been taking their sweet time with a new installment in the franchise. This claim is further supported by the fact that Shigeru Miyamoto focused on the fact that this new Pikmin game is going to have a new way to play. And that new way is you can now play from the perspective of the Pikmin. That, in itself, probably took a while to work around. Because if you think about it, all of the past Pikmin games have had you play through the game from a top-down perspective. Now, I'm not complaining. That's probably how I'm going to play this next Pikmin 4 game, from top-down, if it allows it. Which I think they will, because why would they completely change the formula? If anything, this is just an option. But I feel it's not just going to be some sort of a gimmick. It's going to be an integral part to the Pikmin 4 game. If Shigeru Miyamoto was taking the time to make you see through the Pikmin's perspective, this means that now more detail has to be paid attention to in the game. Because now, you are going to be looking at creatures and environments from the perspective of a Pikmin. That means you can look at all the details, and I don't think Nintendo wants those details to not be there. This must mean that now Nintendo is going to put more luscious environments in the Pikmin game, higher quality visuals, better looking enemies. Look at how shiny that bull board looks up close. Now just because this new perspective is being introduced in Pikmin 4 should not mean that Shigeru Miyamoto is getting rid of the top down perspective altogether. I mean, it's the perspective that carried the past three Pikmin games. So safely assuming that both perspectives will be playable in Pikmin 4 that can only mean that there must be a sort of toggle switch for you to be able to switch from top down to Pikmin perspective in game. And if that's the case, that means that even from the top down perspective, the game should look glorious. Because if it looks beautiful from up close, where it's harder to get all the details to look nice, from top down it should look even better zoomed out. So I'm excited to play it in both perspectives, if Nintendo implemented both, which I really think they did. This newly introduced perspective leads me into my next prediction. And that is that I do not think we will see that many new enemies introduced in Pikmin 4. Don't get me wrong, aside from the bull borbs that were shown off in the Pikmin 4 trailer, I am sure we will still get to see plenty of OG enemies return for the next game. Like, maybe the boss birds in the past Pikmin games, or those wally wogs that everybody hated, or even the other variations of the bull borbs. Heck, maybe even the Bread Bulborb. I forgot their name, but you know which one it is if you're a true Pikmin fan. Unfortunately, I do think that most of the enemies in Pikmin 4 are going to be made up by the OG enemies from the past games, and it would leave little room for newer enemies to be introduced. I believe this because since this is a new installment in the Pikmin franchise that probably took years to develop, especially with the added perspective of looking through the Pikmin's eyes, that probably left little time for Nintendo to add newer enemies and come up with newer designs to model and put into the game and make it look as good as possible. I think that Nintendo took more time making the OG enemies look as good as possible in this game and just planted them in there. But I'm not complaining. I mean, if it looks as good as this Bulborb, I'm sure... All of the enemies are going to look great up close. Now, my next and final prediction for Pikmin 4 will be my riskiest one, but 
I would not be surprised at all if Shigeru Miyamoto actually pulled it off. And that is a seamless, connected, open world. Now, I do have my reasons as to why I think this could be the case in Pikmin 4, that we're gonna get an open world. My first reason is that the past three Pikmin games featured an overworld where you choose from a map which exact location you want to land on. It almost felt sort of Mario Sunshine-ish, in which, sure, there's a hub world, but you still had to select exactly which individual levels you wanted to go into from a painting. And those levels, albeit huge and full of detail, they were all individual and separated from each other. I believe that in Pikmin 4, Nintendo is going to try their best in making it seem like it is all connected, these individual levels or areas of the Pikmin world. This may be accomplished by having maybe huge barriers placed in between two different areas, like a snowy area and a desert area. Maybe you might need to unlock the blue Pikmin before you could get access to the snowy area, as opposed to having to unlock new ship parts in the previous games to fly over to a new area. You see where I'm going? You could probably see the new area right from the one you're standing on, but it's just out of reach and you need just that new item to get access to it. That is how I think Nintendo could make an open world Pikmin game. On to my next prediction that is pretty much already basically confirmed is the arrival of new captains. In the reveal for Pikmin 4, we see a captain that sort of looks like Brittany, but not really. The hair color is kind of off, the dress is kind of different, and I really don't think that's Brittany. And most of Twitter doesn't either. I can safely assume that Nintendo wouldn't show off their only new captain in Pikmin 4 in the reveal. So that must mean they're only giving us a taste at some of the newer captains. Another fact that further solidifies this prediction of new captains arriving is the ending of Pikmin 3. It ends with a star looking object falling into the ground while the Pikmin rush towards it to see what it is. One can only assume that is the arrival of a new captain or multiple new captains because Charlie F and Brittany just left. Now onto my final prediction for Pikmin 4 are new Pikmin types. This topic was the hardest one for me to predict mostly because we already have so many Pikmin types. We have red, yellow, blue, purple, white, winged, and rock Pikmin. That's seven types of Pikmin already introduced in the last three games. The only way that I see Nintendo adding new Pikmin types is if they sacrificed any of the other big predictions I've made, assuming they went with any of those. Because can you imagine that in Pikmin 4, Nintendo would be so gracious as to give us an open world Pikmin game, new captains, and plenty of new enemies, and on top of all that, new Pikmin types? Right now we basically have only one of those predictions already confirmed, and that is the arrival of a new captain, possibly new captains. So that leaves us with three other big predictions. New Pikmin types, an open world story, and new enemies. Now Nintendo could go either way with this, but if they were to go with any of those three predictions, I would be a happy camper and a happy Pikmin fan. But if they were to go with all of those predictions, then the Pikmin fandom would explode. And that could be possible, considering it has been 10 years, a decade, since Pikmin 3 released. Now, for sure, they probably weren't working on Pikmin 4 immediately after Pikmin 3, but it's safe to assume they put some years behind it. That could very well mean that we can get everything we wished for. These predictions aren't that far-fetched. And the last thing to further support my predictions is the fact that Shigeru Miyamoto showed us nothing from Pikmin 4. Some people might have been disappointed, but I, on the other hand, was excited. I was excited to know that Shigeru couldn't show us anything because there was probably so much to show. Like, why not a small little trailer? There probably would have been way too much information to digest in that trailer, aside from the fact that that Pikmin 4 is being made. That in itself is a big announcement, and Nintendo Shigeru knows that. 
He knows that Pikmin 4 is a big thing for a small amount of people, but to him, it's huge. It's one of his babies. That's why he himself wanted to present it and make a whole thing of it. That's so exciting as a Pikmin fan to know that this is almost like Shigeru's passion project. It has been for years. And I have no doubt in my mind that he will treat it as such. So yeah, who knows what Shigeru Miyamoto has in store for us in regards to Pikmin 4. But I know for a fact that it's going to be big. Due to all the secrecy around it and them only revealing a title for us and a new perspective mode. That's it. I'm excited for what next year is going to bring. I'm excited for Pikmin 4 and all the new stuff that's going to be put in it. Aside from the new change in perspective and the new captain that was already basically shown in the trailer. Here's to new enemies, new Pikmin types, and an amazing world to explore. If you're still here watching this, thank you so much. It's so cool to know there are other Pikmin fans just as excited as I am for this game. Because... Lord knows we have been waiting a while for it. If you're as excited as me, drop a comment down below and let me know your predictions for Pikmin 4. I'm excited to read them. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more Pikmin content. I'm also planning on doing more Nintendo related videos and if you're interested in that, subscribe as well because I'm planning on diversifying my content. Mainly focus around Nintendo, but if there's other gaming news just as big, then I'm planning on covering it. Once again, thanks again guys.